Right off the jump, we have Anthony Davis guarding Aaron Gordon so he can leave him to shoot the ball. This is embarrassing defense. Gordon is literally on the perimeter. Plus, he is late getting to the baseline. What are you doing here, AD? Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. Jokic on the drive, off balance, lays it in. Also, I do not know anything about dancing, but I'm pretty sure the Nuggets dance squad is really bad at dancing. Beautifully set play designed to pick on switches. The Lakers pulled Nikola Jokic out of the paint and D'Lo kicks it outside to LeBron who has a better passing angle and hits Anthony Davis to perfection. Nuggets cheerleaders doing their part to inspire Joker's sprinting technique for this play but I still don't get the hype on AD being an elite defender because of errors like this. Freeze this please. Thank you. Now what threat is Aaron Gordon actually by popping out to the perimeter? AD literally stands still and makes Jokic look somewhat athletic. He even screens his own man with this complete lack of effort. These guys know what's up on his head. Lakers run a split on the far side. Aaron Gordon is expecting a curl here, so he goes underneath that screen. LeBron counters by ducking back behind that screen, giving him a wide open look. Fun fact, LeBron is actually shooting a career best 45% on catch and shoot threes this year. Mm, and let's wiggle a little bit for career improvement. Yeah, Lakers love to spam this action. The double stagger screen here on the left. He all of those defenders actively up top. Meanwhile, LeBron steps high, opens up his defender's hips, and then back cuts to the rim. Great cut by James. Nice pass by Davis. LeBron says run it again. Lakers love to spam this action. This time LeBron comes up high to get that dribble handoff. KCP goes underneath the screen and LeBron gets another great look at the rim. Fingertip control. This guy. I mean, how do you get better and better? Now, the start wasn't very good for the Nuggets because of miscues like this. Michael Porter Jr. holding that follow through for about three seconds more than he needs to, then decides to stand as stationary as you possibly could and... Four, two of two from deep. Russell gets away from the deep. Should have subscribed. Denver still down really early, but then this crazy sequence happened. First points gets past James and throws it down. One way to get on the board, and then a steal by Caldwell Pope in transition on the attack, rejected by James. Watson gets to it though, drives and gets the two point game. Energy now picked up. Nuggets dance team still struggling to make an impact. When Jokic goes to the bench, the Lakers like to blitz Jamal Murray. DeAndre Jordan gets it on the short roll completely freezes though, and then decides to do something. Okay, <laughs> I'm getting blitzed. That's you, get to the rack. Mike Malone says slip. Murray runs the same action and gets blitzed. High for games played until this year. Jordan on the cut, Murray with the five. Dance it up if you're proud to be a subscriber. Okay, well we don't need you anyways. We got guys like Bardo keeping us alive. I caught Darvin Ham rubbing his chest, which is actually the play call for Horn's chest. Now Horn's is when you run this double screen action in the middle of the floor, but in Horn's chest, it's code for a flare screen out of that Horn's set. As you can see here, AD sets a screen for LeBron. This causes KCP to have to lean over top of that screen. This forces Michael Porter Jr. here to help inside, which now gives Rui the easiest closeout ever to attack, leading to a wide open left hand layup to bang right off of that rim. This is why the Lakers can't win these games. Zero attention to common sense detail after a turnover. What is this? Anthony Davis literally just goes out for a little jog, leaving poor Austin Reeves out to dry. Spencer Dinwiddie now has to come over underneath to help, and let's see how this plays out. Jackson, hit it, a break. And this is why Denver knows how to win. Gordon and Joker blitz LeBron, and I actually call this touch tips. Each defender reaches in and basically touches the tips of their finger together, forming a wall in that gap, and they get rewarded with the deflection on that short roll pass. Shot by Porter. Great hands by Jokic to get the steal, and a highlight slam from Gordon. 8-0 run by Denver out of the timeout. What's that sweet thing right up there? That's actually a man, snatching a t-shirt right out of the hands of that kid. But don't feel too bad for that kid because he got to witness this epic ending to the half. Porter reverse layup, good with four seconds to go, ties it at 57. James in the front court, hoist a three, it's good! A 10 
tenths of a second left. James drills a three. That sucks. This has got to be the most unstoppable three-man game in basketball. Pick and roll. Lakers try drop coverage this time. Murray with the hockey assist as he hits Jokic on that short roll, who lobs it up to Aaron Gordon. LeBron James keeping this game close, getting the screen, and then gets downhill. James penetrates, draws the foul, and hits it. Look at the attention to detail on defense by the Nuggets. Lakers come out in that exact same set I just showed you, but this time AD slips. The Nuggets are blitzing LeBron, and KCP, look where he is, already down low, tagging AD in the paint. Michael Porter Jr. does a great job sticking to Prince, and then Jokic then comes all the way back down into the paint to help double team the drive. All of this hard work leads to a transition opportunity. Say what you want for the improved play, but I vote the improved dance routine. These pick and roll possessions from Denver are just straight rude. The first one, so much attention on Joker that Murray gets a free lane to the basket. The next one, they swarm the ball, leaving Joker wide open up top for three. Yeah, I saw both shots. Jokic, big one. Which is why on this one, they get all five Lakers to collapse the paint on the roll, which gets Porter wide open. Ooh, so wide open that even with the bad pass, he still gets a very clean look. Nikola's brain actually makes him an improved defender. Lakers running that horn's chest again. Joker reads it and completely just leaves his man to steal the ball. And what I want to know is, does this actually count as a dunk? Jokic in transition! I guess that was a slam. <laughs> Nobody said it had to be pretty. I mean, I don't know. Was it a dunk, dude? <laughs> I mean... No idea, but all you need to do for this play is watch Mike Malone rip around and have a good time on the sideline for this one. It's 10, here's Reese for three, got it. But this wasn't even close to the best moment of the game as Jokic likely gets his best dunk of the year following some of the worst misses of the year by the Lakers. 90 seconds to go. James finds Davis. Missed it. James, another offensive rebound. Missed a layup on the stick back try. Fighting for the loose ball, and it's Denver basketball. That might be it for the Lakers right there after that golden opportunity missed. Jokic, that's a slam over James. And Nikola Jokic's other half. Luka Doncic is pretty flippin' fun to watch, and you should check this deep dive that I did on him over here.